Hi there, and welcome to Man and Machines AutoCAD 2020 video blog. My name is Chris. I'm an application engineer specializing in AutoCAD products. So the first thing I'd like to show you today is the new measuring tool. So you can see on the drop down menu for the measure tool, we've got a new option called Quick. And I can select this option and it starts giving me quick dimensions on my drawing. Okay, you can see where I've got parallel lines horizontally and vertically. It gives me the length of the lines in gray and also gives me the distance between the lines in orange. Okay, if I hover over the arc over here, you can see it gives me the radius of the arc have in between the arc and the line. We don't have any parallel lines, so it's just giving me the length of the line that the orange lines intersect, as well as the radius of the arc. At this point, if I choose to, I can right click and pick one of these options, for example, distance. I click on two points to create a distance measurement, or radius to click on a radius or angle to click on an angle two lines gives me an angle of 90 degrees another change in 2020 the purge feature has been updated to give you more information about items that can be purged you can select the things you want to purge whether it be layers or dimension styles, blocks, etc. And purge the items like so. You can also see non-purgeable items. For example, the chair, the desk and the leaf. And you can see a reason why it can't be purged. And in some cases, we can click on this button here and it will zoom and select the item as well as close, as the, close the purge dialog box. There has been improvement made to the drawing compare tool that was added in 2019. Now we can compare a previous drawing to the current drawing I have open. The changes are shown and highlighted like so. We can choose to import objects from our previous drawing into our current drawing and those imported objects are shown in grey. We can turn on or off our compare tool and we can look at the settings. For example, change in the color, the revision cloud or the compare cloud. We can also make an export of a snapshot of this drawing which combines both drawings to make another new drawing. And once we're finished doing our compare, we can exit out of the compare tool. And finally, in AutoCAD 2020, we see the inclusion of a new palette called the Blocks Palette. This Blocks Palette allows us to see the blocks currently used in this drawing, see the recently used blocks that we've used in any drawing and also browse to another drawing and view the blocks within that drawing like so. The insertion options allow us to scale and rotate our items upon insert.
<clears throat> making it a lot easier to place our blocks in in a specific way. Another option we could use is to explode the block as we place it, which gives us the lines and arcs and any other objects used to make up that block. Thank you for watching my video blog on what's new in AutoCAD 2020. Please feel free to contact Manor Machine if you have any questions. Bye.